Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests. My name is Bassam Dali. I'm the uh, head of School of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Adelaide and a co-founder and member of the uh, Centre for Energy Technology, which is a partner in this series. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all this evening to the second session in a series of talks uh, initiated and run by Professor Barry Brook from the Environment Institute at the University of Adelaide. This uh, six-part series they started thinking critically about sustainable energy. And as the name implies, we aim to go beyond the spin and ulterior motives and critically assess the issue of sustainable energy. The first se session in this series uh, dealt with the notion of the necessity to use fossil fuels in the future. I contributed to this uh, session uh, and discussion last month, and the video is available on the Royal Institute website. You are welcome to view it. Today's session will focus on established renewables. In other words, uh, technologies that are uh, at a mature stage and have been implemented on large scale uh, here in Australia and uh, overseas. In particular, we will cover wind and the uh, solar energy in this session and there is technologies uh, for both which are well established. The next uh, month's session will, uh, will focus on uh, future renewables like geothermal or uh, uh, biofuels and so on. Uh, I'll just let you uh, a little bit about, uh, uh, tell you a little bit about the format for the night. Uh, each speaker will be given um, um, five to seven minutes uh, or a bit more to actually uh, present uh, about a topic related to renewable energy. And then uh, I'll try and ask him a question or two. Uh, hopefully critically, about what they said. And then uh, the next speaker would come in, and obviously at the end we'll open the session for discussion, and you are welcome to ask questions and to quiz our speakers. Um, so um, I just ask that you hold the questions until then. Before I uh, introduce the distinguished panel, I'd like to share with you a few images to just set the parameters uh, for, uh, for tonight. halfway, but it's all right, it didn't work well. So well, what I thought I'll do is just uh, give you a few images specifically about Australia. And uh, when we turn the lights on, we could see where Australians live. And obviously, it's not a surprise to you, but there's a reason why I'm showing this. Because then let's talk about renewable energy in Australia in this context. That there's where these, these where other people are, this is where most of the uh, energy is consumed. And hence, if we want to think about renewable energy, we need to think about where people live and where things can be exported or imported and so on. Next one looks at uh, solar flux. Um, and you could see that actually in the, uh, in the coast, especially on the east coast in here, that the amount of solar uh, flux is relatively low as compared to other areas, which is uninhabitable in a way in the middle of Australia. However, a point of note is even, even here, uh, the, uh, the amount of solar energy available is way, way beyond, higher than many other countries, especially in Europe. Second, uh, the second thing I want to show you is wave power. Tonight, we're not going to talk about wave power, but you could see in here uh, the amount of energy stored, if you want, uh, and that uh, there's quite a, a high values, especially in the, uh, on the East Coast and, and further north. Next is going to talk about a, uh, a estimated uh, temperature. And I think I skipped one for some reason. Let me try again. OK. One of them actually is supposed to show the uh, uh, wind uh, availability. And the, with the wind, although you can't see it in here, it actually lines up with the shore quite nicely. So let's also look at uh, um, infrastructure, and that didn't come up either. Okay, so I'll, I'll just open it. Basically, most of the um, uh, electricity lines, obviously, is where the population is. You could see that most of them actually distributed in this region and the coast, and that is nothing in the middle in terms of um, high voltage electricity lines. And the last slide in here is, uh, is that uh, uh, um, uh, okay, it's, it works now. This is where the electricity parts are. And the last one I want to show is where the uh, natural gas pipelines are. So if you want to transport energy, you could also transport in terms of liquid fuels if you want. 
uh, and we need to keep that in mind. With this, I'll, uh, I'll finish my part. Uh, uh, and the, uh, you will see actually some of these images perhaps in every talk uh, because that basically highlights where the source of energy is. So tonight we have uh, four distinguished uh, panelists. They have been panelists. They are uh, leading figures in their field uh, uh, of expertise. I will mention their name uh, uh, and affiliation initially, and then I'll introduce you in more details as they come to speak. So we have uh, Dr. Maziar Orjamendi, uh, the first one here in the, in the end, from the Center for Energy Technology at the University of Adelaide. Uh, West Stein uh, is from CSRO National Solar Energy Center in Newcastle. Uh, Andrew Stock uh, from Origin Energy, and uh, Catherine Way from Renewable SA.